What's up? It's Alex. Hold on. I've got um, David Mandel's latest book. It's called Obama, A Promise of Change. It's got our president right now. Our first black president in American history. So that's something we can all be proud of as American citizens. And um, there's Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. <clears throat> I mean, uh, and, uh, let's see, I'm Republican, but um, I voted Democrat. Um, it could, you could see it as irresponsible, being irresponsible as a Republican, but um, I'd like to add that um, I'm very proud of uh, voting for Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. Okay, when C8, people, this is a, a quote from Barack Obama. He's, people are hungry for community. They miss it. They are hungry for change. So that's probably how President Obama would have put it. But um, let's see, I'm just going to read a little bit of it. Uh, when a chance to run for public office came in 1995, Obama seized it. 1985, I was 13. A state senator, Alice Palmer, had decided to leave the Illinois General Assembly, Assembly and run for Congress. The state senate is part of the General Assembly, whose members, like Palmer, vote on state laws for Illinois. For Illinois, state laws are made by the General Assembly, who work for the state senate. And. Um, Illinois, like all of the uh, all of the states, also chooses senators who go to Congress in Washington D.C. to vote on laws for the entire country. Obama decided to run in an election for Palmer's former seat in the state Senate. Palmer supported Obama as her replacement. Um, yeah, Alice Palmer was all right with uh, Obama taking her spot. But that is only where the story begins. Obama says that Palmer agreed not to compete with him for the state Senate whether or not she won her election to Congress. But when it looked like Palmer would lose, her supporters met with Obama. They asked him if he would step aside if Palmer didn't win. Ooh, uh, this look like, looks like it could be a problem. Then she could run again for state senate, but Obama would not be able to run for anything. Obama thought that, pa this could look at, this is a problem. Obama thought that Palmer was going back on her agreement. Okay, he's pissed. He told Palmer's people that he could not quit the race. Obama stood firm. And Palmer indeed did indeed lose election to Congress and then quickly decided to run for her old seat. Suddenly Obama was facing a much tougher race, but he could he had one card up his sleeve. He discovered that there was a problem with the petitions people had signed so that Palmer could run in the election. Palmer withdrew from the race and Obama easily won the fall election. Now he was a state senator. Now he was a state senator. So in 1995, he started his Senate, his whole Senate career there in Illinois, the state of Illinois. Um, I think maybe like the 16th, not 24th state, maybe, uh, of this great nation of America. Chicago is very strong. It's, it's agriculture. They've got um, all, all types of things. they got business centers. So it's like a cross between like, like Nebraska, as far, far west as Nebraska. Cross between Nebraska and New York. So Chicago and Illinois, the state of Illinois. Thank you. Okay, I won her election to Congress. Uh, a, a newspaper, the Chicago Reader, uh, published a long article on Obama, including many of Obama's own words about his views on race and politics. This was the first time he was able to tell Chicago as a whole what he believed. This, the ideas he laid out in this article are very much the same as those he supports today. People must learn to work together to build healthy communities, as Obama put it. People are hungry for community. They miss it. They are hungry for change. Now we have to take these same values that are encouraged within our families, families of looking out for one another, of sharing, of sh sacrificing for each other, and apply them to a larger society. 
let's talk about creating a society not just individual families based on these values. At Harvard, Obama's practice of patiently listening to all sides made him popular and eased conflict with people who worked on the law review. But at first, he was not popular with everyone in the General Assembly in Springfield, Illinois. In fact, the man who soon became Obama's chief political advisor admitted that he did not care for Obama at their first meeting. Dan Schumann, Dan Schumann was a reporter who had become an aide to Democrats in the state capitol. Obama noticed that Schumann worked hard for the senator in the same office next door, so he asked to have Schumann signed to him, assigned to him as well. Schumann's first reaction was, he wants to change the world and that is great, but I don't really like the guy that much. Still, Schumann agreed to meet with Obama, and when Obama took Schumann out for dinner, the two wound up getting along well, so Schumann went to work for Obama. Schumann told Obama that because he would be voting on issues that affected people living outside Chicago, he should travel around the state so that he would understand Illinois mo uh, more about Illinois. Obama responded without hesitation, let's do it. In Obama's second book, he says the idea of this first trip was actually his. On this trip and later ones, both Schumann and Obama wanted to see how voters outside of Chicago would react to Obama as an African-American politician. Southern Illinois in particular has a long history of racial intolerance. At Illinois' southern tip, the small town, town of Cairo has a past that includes the lynching of black men in the early 1900s and a race riot in 1967. So the fight for the black man was at arduous and, um, and, and difficult at times, but the will of the black man and black woman is strong. So Yeah, thank you to black people too, because they've been living here. They're like the original, the OG immigrants and shit. They, they came here on boats and shit, you know what I mean? Uh, some of them even fucking walked here and shit, you know what I mean? So, uh, wrong direction down a one-way street. Uh, when Schumann told the officer that Obama was a state senator, the man looked, fabber looked flabbergasted. Uh, Schumann said, he's not a state senator from these parts, the officer told Schumann. Still, in most cases, Obama discovered that everyday people reacted to him warmly. Uh, reacted warmly to him, which is a good thing. Is we've come a, a long way, uh, country of America. So we should reap its benefits and um, everlasting peace, peace to everybody, the whole world. All right, thank you. Uh, it was just a great trip because it really did open Brock's eyes. Schumann said he thinks these people are really cool and they could relate to him, although you know they couldn't pronounce his name. The, these mostly white, middle-class, down-to-earth, Midwestern people reminded Obama of his grandparents, and he felt completely comfortable in their midst. I understand these folks, Obama said. I grew up with these people. Very gripping, true story. Cop it. It's Obama by uh, David Mandel. So uh, go and get it. It's a great book. I've been reading it. It's nice and simple. <clears throat> it's not like reading Ain. Ain Rain, Ain Ravine, one of those books that are like humongous. Uh, it's our great president, President Barack Obama. Okay, cop the book. It's a very good book. All right, okay. and contact me and tell me what you think. My email address is uh, alexnom at newstarrealty.com. So uh, you holler at me. Tell me what you think. All right, I'll vibe with you. All right, holler at me. Peace.